Uh, so they got Kazoo as the Dark Order do, and the guys do their thing for the main event, and it ends. And of course, Mark Henry has his line, which, by the way, is now a t shirt. It's time for the main event. Of course it is. I did like the Dark Order, like lip syncing along with Mark as he gets his line out there. So it's Jurassic Express versus John Silver and Alex Reynolds. We have, for the second time in the show, there's, doing, there's a tag match, and they do some stuff, and then there's. The heat segment is entirely during the commercial, and there's a hot tag as soon as we get back. The good news is Luchasaurus got the hot tag, and this crowd loves dinosaurs. <laughs> Dude, they it's, loved Luchasaurus. They, and they absolutely love, love Luchasaurus. They love Jurassic Express. They love John Silver, who did the most awesome babyface comeback you ever saw till I went to the strong tapings. Man, this match was awesome. Well, they didn't have much to cheer for on Dynamite, so, uh, you know. Yeah. So the teams trade double teams for a while. There's a very, very scary stacked up stupid plex spot out oh of the corner. Oh my gosh. Everyone apparently survived. And uh, if you watch I, I it back, it's so funny because uh it's one of those those spots where like Lucha Source is on the bottom. And Thank uh, God. If this yeah. were if this were real, he's actually suplexing three people. Sure. But uh he also sells. Yeah, of course. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. yes. <laughs> and then not only does he sell, He's blown but up. the way that they have it set up, I think I think Silver is on his shoulders. I forget who's on his yes, shoulders. Silver was on. But his whoever shoulders. was on his shoulders, like he so gently put this guy down to protect him. And then of course whoever it was, Silver, he sold huge too. So it's it was an awesome spot, and the crowd went crazy. But when they showed the replay, you know, everyone watches the two guys on top go flying and everything like that. But if you watch the two guys on the bottom, it's actually hilarious how absolutely nothing happens. And they sell it like they got hit by an asteroid. I, I don't really want to argue with That's you. A sensitive Silver. subject there with dinosaurs, Brian. That's why I said it. I don't want to argue with you, but Silver landed very awkwardly on his shoulder, and it looked really bad. No, if you watch it again, he was he was put down by Luchasaurus, like very, very gently. <laughs> on his shoulder? Well, yeah, but he, <laughs> he set him down. I mean, okay. Yeah, watch it again. He's I good. don't want to be set down on my shoulder from a height. Hey, brother, you, you don't want to... By a dinosaur. If you would have right. fallen on your shoulder from that height, you'd be, you'd be at action. Absolutely. So Luchasaurus saved the guy. He set him down on his shoulder. Okay. I don't want to argue with you, Brian. You're anyway, to save three lives here. Jurassic Express eventually hit a double team, and Jungle Boy hits a dive on one dude, and Lucha gets the pin. And there you go. That was Rampage. A this great Rampage. This peaked way too early, in my opinion. They should have that when when Jungle Boy was running and he dove off of the back of Luchasaurus and then hit Reynolds with the uh, Canadian Destroyer. That's when it peaked because they went right to the finish after that, and it was like meh. Don't get me wrong, it was a great match, but it could have ended one move earlier. This does beg the question, I might add. I think I mentioned this on another show. But uh, Cody Rhodes is already coming back on Wednesday. He oh was out gosh. a week, and they did an interim championship match because he was missing a show. Dumb. And obviously they, they did the interim title because it was Battle of the Belts. And my argument had been, why are we doing an interim title or whatever just don't do that match and put another match on the show. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the argument there was, well, what match are they just going to throw on the show? They want to build up these matches, blah, blah, blah. How about this one? Why couldn't this have been in place of the interim championship match at Battle of the Belts? It was a perfectly good tag team championship match. It was great. The fans loved it. You wouldn't have had to do an interim title, especially when the guy's only gone a week. So I, I don't have answers to any of these questions, but I would have preferred that over the interim championship for a guy out a week. Just to refresh my memory, was Battle of the Belts at a different location than Dynamite and Rampage was filmed? It was live. Okay, so it was at a different location. The so, answer is yes. 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 So your your theory would have worked. The only thing I could have seen is you didn't want to have two um, Luchasaurus Jungle Boy matches on one show after they had just won it, but that makes complete sense. So there you go, everybody. That's Rampage. and uh, Good show. Good show. Very good show. Now I cannot get yelled at by, uh, by a certain segment and only get yelled at by the other segment today. Hey, girl. How was your New Year's? Oh, it was so much fun. Brooks and I put our boots on, and we did a little Texas two-step. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not like that. Daddy... These girls are so, you, um, who are you? 
I'm Wendy Chu. And why are you looking at me like a ham sandwich? Wendy who? Ham sandwich? Wendy Chu? Then it ends. Bro, that was like easily a thousand times better than what they did. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.